Crispers and welcome back to another mod review. So today we're reviewing the Extra Colors mod for 1.16.5 and it's a mod that adds a bunch of new flowers, a bunch of new dyes, and a bunch of colorful blocks. So let's just get straight into this mod review. So to get started with making your new dyes, you first need to look for the new flowers that this mod adds. So this mod adds a bunch of flowers across your entire world. So I can go anywhere and find flowers from this mod. As long as it's a biome that has flowers, you'll see all the flowers from this mod. Now let's go back and let's show off every single flower in this mod. So here we have a roll of every single possible die in this mod. So there might be a lot of cuts because I am freaking dumb when it comes to doing everything in one go. So let's just begin. So first you want to find your new flower. And now that you have your new flower, you can just put it in a crafting table and it gives you dye, just like any other flower. So here we have the grape dye. So the grape dye comes from the salvia flower. Here we have the lavender dye, which comes from lavender flowers. And once you combine both of their dyes, you can get the lilac dye. Next up, we have the pumpkin dye. So this comes from the cosmos flower. Next up, we have the squash dye, which comes from the marigold. And if you didn't notice, I might freaking butcher every single name. Now here we have the carrot dye, which comes from carrots. Next up, we have the rot dye, which comes from wallflowers. Next up, we have the peach dye, which, which comes from the penstemon flower. Next up, we have the dry blood flower, which comes from the rose. Next up, we have the tomato dye, which comes from Biogana. And then we have cherry dye, which comes from Camilla. And then we have rust dye, which comes from Claymantis. Here we have the dawn blue dye, which comes from the iris. Ocean dye, which comes from the Brunaria. We have the Innocent Blue, which comes from Flax Flowers. Here we have the Cloudy Blue Dye, which comes from Perennial Germanium. And here we have the Sky Dye, which comes from Bell Flowers. Here we have the Cool Blue Dye, which comes from Caratopis. And then we have the Chill Dye, which comes from Squeal. And then we have the Aquamarine Dye, which comes from the Hyrangea. Next, we have the Dark Crystal dye, which comes from the Genetis flower. Okay, you know what? I, I, uh, this is embarrassing. I, I literally should have probably done this if I knew how to spell things. Um, I, I suck at spelling, don't I? Here we have the Ice dye, which comes from the Veronica Pedurocalis. And here we have the Grass dye, which comes from grass. Here we have Turtle dye, which comes from Skewed's. We have the swamp dye, which comes from vines. We have frog dye, which comes from ferns. We have summer green dye, which comes from seagrass. We have tennis ball green, which comes from slime balls. We have dark thorn dye, which comes from the pink rose, bubblegum pink dye, which comes from the ladderverius flower. Here we have sweetie dye, which comes from the Xena. Here we have the baby pink dye, which comes from the Maddie Vila. Uh, hopefully you guys can read that name up there because, uh, yeah, this is the reason why I have it up there. Hopefully it's a little, it's big enough for you guys. If not, um, uh, you can probably tell me to have it bigger next time. Now here we have the old gold dye, which comes from the hibiscus. Here we have yolk dye, which comes from yellow begonia. Here we have the sunflower dye, which comes from buttercup flower. Abyssal black comes from the wither skeleton skull. Midnight black comes from obsidian. Charcoal black dye comes from charcoal. Smoke black dye comes from fire charges. Chocolate dye comes from chocolate chip cookies, obviously. Here we have dirt dye, which comes from dirt. Sandstone dye, which comes from any type of sandstone, as long as it's orange. Next up we have the bark brown dye, which comes from any type of sapling. Snow white dye comes from Cali Lily. Raw white dye comes from white roses. Bone gray dye comes from firework star. Dust gray dye comes from silver bush. Space gray dye comes from... Baby blue dye comes from innocent blue and dawn blue. Dark teal comes from dark crystal and turtle dye. Ocean teal comes from ocean blue and cool blue. And the light teal dye comes from raw white dye and cool blue dye. Cream beige dye comes from old gold and snow white. Faint beige dye comes from yellow dye and snow white dye. And the light beige dye is obtained with yolk dye and snow white dye. Whoa, that's my first time naming so many objects. 
in one freaking video. But, uh, yeah, it is awesome how many dies there are. But I almost went insane and almost ripped my head off trying to do this. Now here we have flower mush. So the flower mush is crafted with any type of flower and a bone meal next to it. Now this is pretty special because once you use it, it just gives you a random flower. But sometimes the flower will despawn. So I'm just going to get myself a frick ton of these and let's just try to get a flower to spawn in. So as you can see, there's a white rose dye that randomly spawned in. Now, if you are wondering, in survival, it's the exact same thing. So, sometimes it'll spawn, sometimes it won't. So, in this case, it does not want to spawn there, but it wants to spawn here. I guess that it sometimes has to do with the grass, I'm not sure. But this is how it works. Yeah, so you have to give it some space for it to actually work. Actually, you don't. Let's just continue. Now, something you should know about these dyes is it needs to be surrounded by the material you're trying to dye. So, for example, here we have some white wool and we're going to use this to surround the rust dye and we get eight rust wool. So, basically, this can only be crafted in bulk, unlike normal wool, which can just be crafted with one dye next to it and one white wool. And it's actually a better deal because you can actually dye eight blocks at a time instead of just having to die one block at a time. By the way, you can't actually die sheep with these, but since it's perfectly balanced and gives you eight, it doesn't really matter that you can't use sheep because now sheeps are useless. You can only give me three walls while this can give me eight. So just get away from me. I don't like you anymore, okay? You know what, that was pretty mean, so... <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, sheep, I'm sorry. By the way, the Badlands don't actually generate the new colors of terracotta. But now that we're here anyway, I'm going to show you something about the recipes. So you would usually just craft it with the dye in the middle and normal terracotta around it, just like the vanilla ones. But there are some colors, like the baby blue terracotta, that requires a light blue terracotta and the dye in the middle. Or in this case, the baby pink just needs some pink terracotta with a baby pink dye in the middle. And that's pretty much it for the terracottas. Now for the concrete. So the recipe for the concrete powder is a little bit different than the vanilla ones. So instead of putting the dyes here in the corner like the vanilla ones, you just put the dye right in the middle and it gives you concrete powder. And the concrete powder works exactly the same as normal concrete powder because you can just put it inside the water and you get a new type of block color. I kind of got stuck there. Now I'm going to activate Horsekin's new camera. So let me be right back and let's try to get it working. Uh, I I'm not sure if it'll work. And if you were wondering why I'm using the camera, it's an easier way to show off every single block that can be dyed because there are a ton. And if I did this, I would probably make a video that is 30 minutes long. Anyway, let's just get this working. So as you can see, the camera's working and I kind of broke everything. But there are a ton of blocks in this mod. And there are so many that the creator actually had to do some sacrifices and not include some of these dyes because they were too closely matching to other colors. And that is the main reason. But as you can see, he did a great job in adding the shades. And some of these shades were sometimes too close to vanilla, so some of them weren't even added. And as you can see, some of them, yeah, they do look kind of similar, but they look uniquely different at the same time. And um, this camera's probably gonna keep levitating. Okay, so we have arrived at the end. And hopefully you guys did see all these signs. Um, I'm sorry, this is my first time using that camera. And uh, I think I did a pretty good job at using it. Um, I'm just gonna go thanks Horsican for actually giving me the camera. Hey Horsican, your camera was a huge success. Yeah, I finally made something that actually works. Yeah, Horsican, you actually did. Wait, I think you've made plenty of helpful things before. Oh, uh, not that I remember. Yeah, I was just trying to make you feel good. I'm sorry, Horsican. Well, I'll see you later. See you later too. Bye. Uh, I think I, I might have offended him. Now, let's go on to the woods. So yes, this mod does add new types of woods. And as you can see, there is a ton of these blocks. 
So here we have the bookshelves. So none of these actually use any of the new blocks. It uses vanilla wood blocks. So this is awesome. This should have been added in Minecraft a long time ago. So for example, here we have a spruce bookshelf and it is crafted with spruce planks. So it makes so much sense for it to be crafted with the woods that you choose. Anyway, we have the spruce bookshelf. We have the birch one, Akita, jungle, dark oak, crimson, and warped so it does add variants for nether woods so here we have the new variant of wood so these woods don't actually come from a new tree added from this mod but instead they are crafted so in this case you have the cinnamon log so the cinnamon log is crafted with one light gray dye in the middle surrounded by eight spruce logs and it gives you eight of the wood you just died so in this case it gives you eight cinnamon logs so with this log, you can make the wood, you can make planks, you can make stairs, you can make slabs, fences, fence gates, and even new bookshelves. Now for the rest of these blocks, they're going to have the exact same variants. So I'm not going to repeat it because I'm going to probably make this mod review too long and probably too boring. But anyway, I'm just going to show you all the recipes and I'm just going to slowly walk by to show you every single variant of these to see if you actually like the woods. So here we have the cream log. So the cream log is crafted with one yellow dye surrounded by birch wood. And here are all the other variants. So hopefully I'm not going too fast and you guys were able to see that. Next up we have the cantaloupe log. So the cantaloupe log is crafted with one di white dye surrounded by eight Akita logs. And here are all the variants. And you can even see the colors showing a little bit through, which is kind of awesome. Next up, we have the terracotta log. So the terracotta log is crafted with one yellow dye surrounded by IKEA logs. <laughs> Did I just see IKEA logs? What the frick is wrong with me? And here are all the variants. And I'm not going to try to say IKEA <laughs> again. I don't know. I, a cedar wood. Yeah, it's a cedar wood, not IKEA wood. <laughs> <laughs> that would uh, yeah that would be cheap wood this isn't cheap wood this is crafted by hand by you next up we have the chocolate log and no you cannot eat this but yes it does make a great block so here's the recipe so you need one chocolate dye and eight spruce logs so basically you just need to smudge them with the chocolate you ripped out of your cookies <laughs> uh, yeah i like to joke around in these mod reviews um Sometimes I try to not joke around too much, so I won't bore you guys. I mean, so I won't look unprofessional, but I do it anyway. And next up, we have the moose log. So the moose log is crafted with one brown dye surrounded by acetal wood. And here are all the variants. So this is kind of my favorite of the acetal woods because the, just look at this orange. I just love this orange. It reminds me of the sandstone. Hmm, let me just find out. Yeah, it's a little bit more orange, which which looks great. I don't know what I love about this, but this has to be my favorite. And probably the chocolate ones. Anyway, let's continue, and I should stop rambling on. So here we have the worn log. So the worn log is crafted with one light gray dye in the middle, surrounded by eight jungle logs. And here are the variants again. So th this looks like birchwood. It, it looks more like birch wood, yeah. And it is looking fantastic. I think I made like that better than birch. Next up, we have the mud log. So the mud log is crafted with one brown dye surrounded by dark oak logs. And here is possibly the darkest wood that you might see in Minecraft. It, it, it looks kind of fried, but um, yeah, like kind of burnt. But uh, I, I actually love this color. You could probably make a base in the nether with this color. I would definitely build with these blocks in the nether. Next up, we have the old oak log. So the way you craft this is you need one yellow dye surrounded by eight oak logs. And golden, uh, he just pushed me out of the way. And here are all the variants of the old oak log. So they look kind of similar to oak, but there's a slight variation. Actually, let me see. It, it does not look, it, it looks kind of like oak. I don't know about you guys. I think it, this one looks a little bit darker. I'm not sure. I, I, I might be slightly colorblind, so I can't actually see that. Oh, it looks like the Iron Golem might be doing a mod review. He's probably putting it to Golem Tube. 
Anyway, let's continue. So here we have the washed log. So the washed log is crafted with one light gray dye surrounded by oak logs. And this is another one that looks similar to birch. Now here we have the dirt log. So the dirt log is crafted with one dirt dye surrounded by spruce logs. So basically you just need to grab a piece of dirt, compress it into this dye, and just put it into this wood. And it gives you a, a little bit of a lighter color, just like the jungle logs. And I do love this. Okay, I thought I made a mistake. So it looks like the fence might be a little bit darker. Oh, yeah, I kind of worried that I made a messed up big time. Now here we have the white chocolate log. So the way you obtain this is with one white dye surrounded by eight birch logs. And here are the last of the variants. So that is pretty much it for the mod review. Now I think I may do, uh, start doing mod update videos because I, I, I haven't even seen someone do that. But I think it would be interesting because I could just go back to mods that I've reviewed in the past and see if there's any updates, anything that has changed. And I, I don't know why I just got this idea in the video. I just wanted to mention it. Um, I think I might have offended Horace again. Wait, is that one of the blocks from over there? Yeah, it looks familiar. Let me just see. Um, I'm gonna break the glass. Oh, it's a Bissell black. I guess that he doesn't want anyone to see him. Or for it to just look like a void and that there's nothing inside. Uh, I, I shouldn't have offended him. So that was it for today's mod review. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this mod review anyway. Even if it wasn't the type of mod that I would usually review. And thanks to the creator for actually creating this awesome mod. And I really enjoyed myself making this mod review. Even if it's not something that I would prop uh, usually review. It's something that I enjoyed. Especially because I'm an idiot at spelling things. And I just make myself laugh when it comes to me being an idiot at pronouncing things. But anyway, don't forget to have an awesome day or night and see you all later. Bye! And no, I did not forget part of the outro. I'm just not going to ask for any more likes or any more subs. I'm just going to let you guys decide what you want to do. And there's a video in particular that made me realize that it was one of Stamp uh, Stampy's clips that he showed in his live stream for 10 million subscribers so yeah that that kind of reminded me that i was act that i'm actually doing this because i love doing this and it's not it, it shouldn't be about the numbers it shouldn't i shouldn't force you guys to actually subscribe or anything but I, i'm just gonna stop rambling and I'm, i'll just see you guys later